Finally got Mr. Jimmy Burns work cut out for him. We've got the stalwart Sean Williams, everyone knows very well, for multiple weight and multiple organisation champion against Eric Sutton. Eric Sutton from Manchester Warriors again. Both competitors were in the eight man scrapyard tournament of 2015. Both didn't make their way to see each other, but had a very, very competitive bout on the next show after of November of 2015. Eric Sutton coming away with the win. Eric Sutton, very deceptive, a former welterweight ABA strong contender out of the ring for a long time. Does not give the impression of a man of his speed and clearly a man of his power and skill. You see very easily taking Mr. Williams shots. Both men with, with, with strong strikes. There's no doubt in anyone's mind that this rematch this evening for that UK title, both people coming in over a series of weeks as we've had Mr. Malpass through contractual differences out of the contention. Jake Spencer, former undisputed title holder with an injury. And then the next two in line clearly will always be Mr. Williams and always be Eric Sutton. Both men known for those strong strikes, setting up those big body shots. And what some might deem as a very uneventful first round, apart from what we've just seen, comes to an end. Actually, both men know what each other are capable of. What a fantastic first round. As we enter the second round, we are joined by the current injured champion Jake Spencer. Hello Jake. Hello. So obviously we've got two people now that we're looking at if you are recovered ready for the August tournament. How do you see the fight going? Yeah I mean Sean needs to pick it up a little bit. Um, Sean needs to up his work rate a little bit. Obviously uh, boy, well, just got caught with a good shot there. So both of these guys, they're known, they're known for those big body shots. They set them up in different ways, though. Obviously, the Southport, Eric Sutton. How, how would you feel uh, with the bout against Eric? Uh, it's the first time I saw Eric. Um, he looks tidy, looks good. Good head movement. Keeping in the centre of the ring now. Good body shots. Yeah, looks quite good. A lot of people obviously see Eric. The appearance is deceiving. Uh, a former welterweight uh, boxer yourself, obviously back in the day, an, a an ABA boxer yourself with the army. Um, clearly, the appearance is deceiving. We've seen Eric beaten Sean before. Um, okay. How do you think you're going to get on against potentially Eric and the likes of the Jason Stones uh, and the Hallorans of the world, ready for that? That if you are fit, that August, that August title contention uh, tournament. Um, obviously, me 100%, I feel confident with anyone. Um, I just can't wait to get back in there at 100%. Obviously, it's different fights with uh, either of these opponents. First time I saw Eric, like I say, he's busy. He's keeping the centre ring well. Sean's, you know, he's up his work rate a little bit, but he's moving. He doesn't want to get trapped on that corner. Definitely. I mean, certainly, Sean Williams' trick himself is to try and move you into the corner with footwork and then unload those body shots. It seems to be the thing that Eric's actually doing to Sean. That's right, yeah. That's right. Sean needs to try and uh, trap Eric himself. A good a good second round. A, round. a, a reduced title bout. We see Eric Sutton clearly showing his intentions and Sean Williams, the more experienced guy, Ready to start doing that lay and pray, sit on the ropes. Not while Eric commands that ring, though. Yeah, Sean's changed his tactics a bit now. He's, he's a bit more busier now. Uh, but he's staying on the ropes still. He definitely needs to win this round. Potentially, we're looking at a, Good a, a draw for the first round, probably, uh, on most of the judges' scorecards. I'd say that the second round went Eric Sutton's way. This round here, Sean clearly knows 
that uh, for the Williams camp he needs to stay busy or this will be the end of again another run of that title he's turning up though Sean's doing a lot more this round <laughs> obviously he likes a bit of showboating Ooh, got with a good shot though some good strong shots the thing is we need to be Make sure that these these punches are actually landed on the scoring area. The, the judges have been really stringent tonight. Clearly, uh, in the corner earlier on with, with your own cousin, uh, the judges, you've seen the rest of the, the, the decisions throughout the night. You think the judges have been quite fair? Yeah, of course, yeah. The judges have been fair. <laughs> the big man showboat in there. He's still got that speed as a welterweight. Probably not the same shape, though. Yeah, he can definitely move. He's got some good angles. I mean, to push someone around with the experience of Sean Williams and the length of time this man spent in the ring, that clearly speaks volumes itself. Yeah, it does. He knows his way around the boxing ring. Uh, his distance is sweet. He does need to turn it up a little bit, though, if he wants to win. Clearly, yeah, to get that emphatic win, to finish That's off it. with a win. Do you think, potentially, Eric's knows that he's got that, that second round, not really knowing about the first? I mean, a draw would be fair, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Eric's, you know, he's slightly ahead. Jake, it's been fantastic seeing you. Look forward to seeing you in August, at the end of the round. Let's see who wins. Thanks.